by it's Wendy from Wenway Creations, part three of making the peacock journal. So we've got the cover, we've lined it, that's all sitting right. We've put the signatures together, so we've got our three signatures. And now I'm going to, I like to sew mine onto my hidden spine before I start decorating. So that's what we're going to do today. So I've marked where I want to put them. Um, just get my book binding kit here, get them all. <coughs> I've got this bit of polystyrene that I've covered in sticky tape. I'm just going to put my holes in this. And then I've marked a bit of paper the same. You just check that. I'm just going to put a T at the top here so I know that that's the top. So then you get your signature, you put that in the middle and then fold that up a bit, push it right down, get your all. Push through. Oh, that was a bit hard. Same in the middle. And then the bottom one. And do that to all three of your signatures. Middle. Yes. Oops. Find a needle. Get your twine. You measure your twine. One, two, three. This is wax linen thread, not twine, sorry. To middle holes, put it into the back one, take it through, leave a tail. I usually hold my tail, I always go up to the top one. However, it's easiest for you. Oh 
Hey, God. Come on, where are you? Thanks for that one yet. No. I think what I've done, I've moved my pages. down to this one, go through the holes, through the back one, make sure you're all lined up in the right holes, I'm going to go back through the middle one. Missed it. It's a bit hard to pull, just get a pair of pliers. That usually fixes it. gone through the thread here I have that's easy fix I 
Okay. The one has to go over the other side. Oops, still caught. Oh, I'm making a hash of this today. <coughs> okay, so we're checking that it's there on the back. And tiles. You can either cut them short or leave them hanging. I might put charms on mine, so I'm going to leave mine hanging. Right. Number two. Hopefully this goes a bit easier. I might sit down to do it. Right, so open it up to the middle. Find the centre hole. Come on. This goes into the middle set of holes. Leave in that tail. Go up to the top, just turn it around, it's easier. Into the middle one. how it's meant to be done straight through down to the bottom one straight through into the middle hole at the bottom backing through the middle Come on, you've got that existing linen in there to help guide you. I've missed it somewhere. Last one, come on. Here we go. But checking that it's and I've gone through the, yeah, I've sewn through the, the thread again. One on each side. Check it out the right way around. Yes.
from the two signature in. Right, lucky last. Can't see the hole in the black. There we go. Do this to me. Thank you. Check them again, get all nice and tight. Side. No, too much. So that is your three signature sites. <laughs> sewn into your hidden spine so last thing I'm going to do is glue this into here and leave it overnight what am I going to use some of this I've got enough hopefully I have three in one beep and three in one I always put clips on each end. And I go in with my ruler in between the signatures. Or oh, your bone fold would probably be more gentle than a metal ruler. <laughs> and I just press down to make sure the glue's touching this is going to be a very thick journey 
I'll say it now. Should have had a wider book. Never mind. It is what it is. And I will leave that like that. Popped up. I've got two jars of buttons here, so I'm going to sit it in between the two jars of buttons. Put my needle away. And um, there you go. Sewing in the signatures. Next part will be starting to decorate inside. I um, can't remember if I told you on the last video. I've got the names of the papers I used for my signatures. I've also picked out my um, front cover. This is going to go on my front cover. I'm going to mat it on here. Layer it. So I've, picked, I've chosen that to go on there. That's why it's sitting there to remind me. And that's another video. So Thank you so much for joining me and taking time out of your day to watch my video. And um, welcome to all the new subscribers. Love to have you all on board. It's great. Big boost to my morale. Um, this has been a very hard thing for me at 63 years of age to get into this technological um, journey. <laughs> Camera and videos and uploading and editing and whatnot. And I'm learning as I go. So thank you for bearing with me. And um, I'll catch you on the next, next time. Bye now.